I also decided to go back into the vault and rewatch season one of Prison Break because I was curious to see if it was as good as I remember. I kind of managed to get through a couple episodes and I just went online and watched a recap. Like, God bless YouTubers who put together recaps of old shows because they do a really good job in terms of giving you the kind of overview of what basically happened. And I have to say, it definitely was as good as I remember. Prison Break season one was really good, really ahead of its time. And I forgot how in-depth or how much detail they went into some of the side characters' backstories and plots. That's what I forgot. Obviously, it focused on the f of the two main characters, protagonists, right? But it did actually do a good job of fleshing out the stories of all the other people attached to the absolute story overall. It was actually quite decent. enough. I, I literally forgot about it, and it was quite cool to see. Um, but Jesus Christ, I've never. I think Prison Break is only probably close to lost in terms of its ability to fall off a cliff lost fall off a, fell off a cliff but i think prison break might have had the biggest fall off ever in the history of series because from season two onwards it turns into an absolute shit show i remember i stopped watching it because they went back into prison i remember that was my main thing they they did this whole elaborate thing of like breaking out of prison then they have to go back in and I was like, nah, you know what I mean? I, I was just, I was out completely from then on. But obviously I should have been aware of what was happening because of the fucking name of the show. But the, the, the latter season, season two, three, four, and five, yo, some of the plot points were absolutely insane. And essentially what happens in, in Prison Break throughout the entirety of the seasons, not to spoil anything, is basically this. People keep dying but then they're not really dead. <laughs> That's basically the premise of the whole show. People die, but they're not actually dead. Everybody's kind of like, you know, everybody faked their own death. It's a constant back and forth of that. You're not really sure if somebody actually died. And that's the actual disappointing thing about the the show because I think some of the big deaths that happened in season one are actually part of what make the show good. It's actually what gives it some weight, some value. Some of the people that self-expire, some of the abuse that goes on, some of it's implied, some of it's not even that detailed. All these things actually add layers, add texture, add depth, emotion, um, you know, to the actual show. But then when they when they start playing around with it as a plot point, it sort of took away from the entirety of the show. It really fucking did. Um, but God almighty, man, what an amazingly, amazingly good show. But it's interesting because this show was great but then i remember checking back i remember looking doing a little google and finding out that the main guy in the show years later came out as gay right and the funny thing about him coming out as gay was he said in one of the interviews i think with the gay times he was like oh i'm never gonna play a straight role again i'm always gonna play a role that's kind of you know um um what you call it related to my sexuality so i can represent the people you know who basically identify the way i identify with and the first thing that came to mind was like rah how bad must it have been working on that set for him to be like i'm never doing a straight role because i find it quite interesting because i actually find it cool that he was able to play that role and you didn't really get I didn't really feel like, you know, he didn't come across gay on the fucking role. I don't know how you're meant to come across gay, but, you know, he was a pretty much a bit of a heartthrob. Ladies fucking loved him and fell in love with him for the minute he came on the screen and shit. So I just find it interesting that the show did so much damage to this guy's psyche that he was like, nah, never playing a straight role again, even though he fucking smashed it with his eyes closed to be honest if, you know maybe the role didn't require much range maybe he was a bit monotone and quite whatever but i think he did a really good job in terms of you know the role that he played in the, in the show itself but reading that you know he doesn't want to play straight roles anymore was fucking hilarious um but prison break season one 100 is definitely gold star level of tv and it's a shame that we don't get those type of shows anymore it's a shame that most shows have like pilot seasons like that and then they fall off a cliff i don't know if it's because a writer strike i don't know if it's because the writers leave i don't know if it's because the executives start to like put their fucking fingers in the pie i don't know what happens to make such shows start off so good and then end so badly no one's saying it's breaking bad don't get me wrong no one's saying this is just the sopranos no one's saying this is the wire we're not saying it's that level but in terms of like good enough tv to put on that you wouldn't want to change or you don't need to pause, or you don't need to kind of watch in bits and bobs, this is great, because I feel like nowadays with TV shows, I'm finding myself like 
really struggling to get through full episodes really struggling to get through full episodes like you pause then you come back to it later on then you make you know what i mean it's it's a it's a real slog to get through episodes let alone seasons but i feel like prison break season one was like 25 episodes i think something stupid like that most of the episodes were like 40 to an hour 40 minutes to an hour long and people were getting through that i know i did at breakneck speed so it's again i would wish we kind of went back to that sort of time probably it's not going to happen anytime soon but i feel like this level of tv where it kind of operates in that kind of mid-level in terms of quality but also has a good enough plot um good enough characters good enough acting to kind of hold you um is definitely needed but wow prison break season one definitely was as great as i remember and i'm glad i gave it another chance to check it out again 